Yo, what's going on? This is the real RGB Fox, and with the, this current year, the fire decks are just going to be very expensive if you decide to ride the fire train. So, what better than to showcase a list that's overall pretty cheap and can, you know, probably perform decently well in this upcoming format, uh, especially if you go first. So, uh, I'll go ahead and present it to y'all again. If uh, you guys like this deck profile, make sure to like and subscribe and comment on any changes you would make to the list personally um so yeah we'll start off with uh one of the most important three starters especially going second uh ecclesia and then that follows it uh, up with two ashina two vishura two adhara and the shatana uh no super heavy samurai build uh, i've seen people play that and honestly just feels awkward in my opinion so uh i don't even know what it does high key but it makes you more susceptible to drill so i'd rather not uh and yeah that is it for the tennies and then following the sword souls uh we play triple long yun uh triple moe and trip or double taya uh yeah you don't want to see multiples of this card so yeah uh into the rest of the source soul stuff we got the three emergence uh, obviously the searcher is really great and then the blackout um great disruption but might be a little bit mid in this upcoming format uh next up triple ash blossom triple veiler and triple imperm and that's really all i have for hand traps in the upcoming format i do believe these nine are the most important uh ash to hit uh, let's say uh, original sinful spoils, Valor, and Imperm to hit stuff like Ash, Populous, the Bell Star. Um, these are all going to be pretty nice into all of those matchups. Next, uh, for the rest of the non engine, triple tactics, talents. Uh, you're going to get interrupted uh, at any point in time in this deck. So, being able to get free draws, free, you know, um, information from the opponent's hand is definitely great. Uh, double desires, uh, two because I don't play the third one because uh, I don't have it. So, uh, we're dealing with that for right now. Heavenly, this is important to search for the level four water uh shatana but it also helps you play around imperm in general or uh if they try to enemy controller your chi shao you can just get a card for free yeah somewhat uh this also searches a tenyi uh, on the next turn by banishing it so that's also pretty nice and then vessel uh you know just in case you get nibbed um yep for the extra deck nothing too special uh two gorse tokens you know uh they're beautiful uh, following that, of course, we have the Link 3 Tenyi. Uh, honestly, this card is ass, but, um, you know, uh, budget also, you know, it can come in a pinch, you know, destroy a bunch of monsters. Uh, Shaman. Shaman is a great Reborn card, though it does lock you into Tenyi extra deck for the rest of the turn, so that's the only bad part. Well, not monsters, I guess, but just being able to use their effects. And then uh, Triple Monk. Um, I believe one is Euro. So it's pretty ugly, but yeah, uh, multiple copies of this. Uh, it always comes up, so you never want to play less than three, in my opinion. Okay, for the synchros, we have Baron, uh, Long Yun, and Cheng Ying, and then for the level nines, we have Chao Feng. Uh, pretty good cards overall. Um, Chao Feng probably loses a bit of value, but you know, maybe with Light Swarms in the near future, this becomes even better. Um, now, following that, we have double Chi Xiao, we have double Boxia, uh, a Draco Berserker, the Tenyi, and Yazi to round up the Synchros, as well as this being a great level 7 to make with Taya, uh, banishing with, you know, what's his name? Uh, Emergence, right? And then getting a free summon after it's destroyed. I mean, the value is like everywhere. Now, for the side deck, uh, this is kind of hit or miss depending on how the format is really going to be post Phantom Nightmare, but this is what I believe uh, you should be playing at the very least some of these cards. Um, your Labyrinth matchup hurts, so you want to play Triple Bell. Uh, you know, Rogue is pretty strong, so Triple Nib and uh, Droll and Lockbird, right? Uh, you don't want to get hit and left stranded uh, for the most part. Um, the centurion matchup can be tough if they open combo which they kind of always fucking do so um 
you know, we live and we learn, hope that we just don't uh, uh, face them. Uh, double Thrust, Thrust is good. Uh, I like Thrust in my opinion because I don't have multiple copies of Soul Release. So uh, these make up the <laughs> the, five, the three that you would normally see. Um, but yeah, uh, following that up, Lightning Storm and Harpies as well. Uh, I might change the Lightning Storms to a Cosmic Cyclone. Uh, again, just because I really don't like the Centurion matchup, might as well hit that. And then uh, Harpies, right? It's a good uh, blowout card against back row decks. So also something for Tactics to Search as well. Uh, if I were to change anything, really, it might be replacing the Vessel and maining one Thrust. But aside from that, um, I believe this side is overall pretty solid. So yeah, um, you know, if you don't have access to Thrust, play multiple copies of Soul Release or play like more copies of Backward Removal, stuff like that. Um, Thrust I know has gotten reprinted, but it's still relatively expensive. So uh, if you don't have it, just substitute it for more normal spells. After all, Soul Release comes in common. So um, realistically, you do have cheaper options there if you really are in a tight budget. But yeah, um, that has been it for the Sword Souls. Uh, I really love this deck. This is probably one of my favorite decks of all time. I wish it got more support like Branded and other stuff. But hey, uh, you got to live with what you got, right? So uh, not hating too bad. Um, if you guys like this deck profile, feel free to let me know what you liked about it down below. And if you were to improve anything, uh, let me know as well. This has been The Real A-Town with Sword Souls, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.